The new customer acquisition goal helps enable you to efficiently acquire new customers through your Google Ads campaign based on your marketing objectives. The new customer acquisition goal offers two modes to support acquisition objectives. The first mode is the new customer value mode, which you can use to bid higher for new customers than for existing customers. This mode is for the retail and online sales marketing objective for advertisers with purchase conversions. You can use it to value a customer's first purchase. This is the recommended mode because it helps optimize your budgets toward acquiring new customers and achieving your overall campaign objective in one campaign instead of having multiple campaigns for new and existing customers. On the other hand, you can choose the second mode, the new customer only mode, which you can use to only bid for new customers. This mode is for the retail, online sales, and lead gen marketing objectives. You can use it to limit ads to only customers who are new to your business. We recommend this option only if you have dedicated acquisition-focused budgets or if you are running a non-purchase conversion-focused campaign, for example, lead gen. Once you select the mode that is right for your business objectives, in both modes, new customers are determined using your data plus our signals. There are two ways you can set up this goal based on your campaign type in Google Ads, which we will cover in different chapters of this video. If you're setting up a new Performance Max campaign, you will set up the goal in Campaign Construction. This will be covered in Chapter 1. If you are adding the new Customer Acquisition goal to an existing Performance Max or Search campaign, you will set up in Account Settings and Campaign Settings. This will be covered in Chapter 2. In this chapter, we'll cover setting up a new Performance Max campaign with a new customer acquisition goal. Within Campaign Construction, once you select Performance Max as your campaign type, enter your campaign name. You will then move into setting the bidding for your campaign. This is also where you will set up the new customer acquisition goal. If you choose the new customer value mode, follow these steps. Step 1. Select existing customer lists representing existing customers through Customer Match. You can define existing customers through Customer Match and the Google tag. Both of these data sources will enable you to be more accurate in detecting new customers, plus are durable for privacy changes. You will also be automatically enrolled in auto detection if you are tracking purchase conversions in your Google Ads account. Step 2. Set the value assigned to customer acquisition. If you have an MCC set up, then the MCC conversion tracking parent needs to set this up. This value is added to a new customer's first purchase conversion, which helps smart bidding to optimize towards new customers and is reflected in reporting. The higher this value is, the more the campaign will optimize towards new customers. This value will be used as the default additional value for new customers in all campaigns that optimize to NCA. You want to set the customer acquisition value to be equal to the expected future organic revenue of a new customer. You can also use the recommended value that's suggested when you select the new customer goal if you're unsure what your new customer acquisition value should be. This recommended value is based on your average order value across your prior campaigns. Step 3. Finish setting up your Performance Max campaign. Step 4. Monitor your campaign performance with respect to new customer acquisition. You can monitor the number of new customers you are driving with the new customer acquisition goal activated and calculate key metrics, such as customer acquisition cost. Now, in case you want to use the new customer only mode, follow these steps. Step 1. Finish setting up your Performance Max campaign. Pro tip. If using the new customer only mode, be sure to set up a separate campaign to reach existing customers. This campaign should have different ROAS targets compared to the new customer only campaign. Based on the new customer only campaign performance and ROAS observation, pick a ROAS target that complements the new customer only campaign. Note that in the auction, the higher bid will win and there are not serving exclusions of new customers for the regular campaign. Step three. View reporting of your tracked conversion goals. You can view your conversions and conversion values after a user interacts with your ad and takes the next steps to become a customer. In this chapter, we'll cover adding the new customer acquisition goal to an existing Performance Max, search, or video action campaign. First, 
If you want to use the new customer value mode, follow these steps. Step 1. Select existing customer lists representing existing customers through customer match. Step 2. Set the value assigned to customer acquisition. This value is added to a new customer's first purchase conversion, which helps smart bidding to optimize towards new customers and is reflected in reporting. The higher this value is, the more the campaign will optimize towards new customers. This value will be used as the default additional value for new customers in all campaigns that optimize to NCA. You might want to set the customer acquisition value to be equal to the expected future organic revenue of a new customer. You can also use the recommended value that suggests when you select the new customer goal, if you're unsure what your new customer acquisition value should be. This recommended value is based on your average order value across your prior campaigns. Step 3. Configure your new customer acquisition goal. In the Campaign tab, start by clicking the campaign you want to add the new customer acquisition goal to. Next, click on the Settings tab to access the campaign settings. Now, click on the Customer Acquisition option and click on the checkbox to optimize this campaign for acquiring new customers. You can choose between the two modes of the new customer acquisition goal. Let's choose the new customer value mode. Step 4. Monitor your campaign performance with respect to new customer acquisition. You can monitor the number of new customers you are driving with the new customer acquisition goal activated and calculate key metrics, such as customer acquisition cost. Now, if you want to use the new customer only mode, follow these steps. Step 1. Just like the previous setup, select existing customer lists representing existing customers through customer match. Pro tip. When using this mode, be sure to set up a separate campaign to reach existing customers. This campaign should have different ROAS targets compared to the new customer-only campaign. Based on the new customer-only campaign performance and ROAS observation, pick a ROAS target that complements the new customer-only campaign. Note that in the auction, the higher bid will win, and there are not serving exclusions of new customers for the regular campaign. Step 2. Enable new customer acquisition in your Google Ads campaign settings. Let's start by clicking the campaign you want to edit. Once you are in the campaign settings, click on the Customer Acquisition option to open the drop-down menu. Check the box to optimize the campaign for acquiring new customers and choose Only Bid for New Customers. Step 3. View reporting of your tracked conversion goals. You can view your conversions and conversion values after a user interacts with your ad and takes the next steps to become a customer. After setting up the new customer value mode or the new customer only mode following these steps, you are going to get the best of the new customer acquisition goal.